Is that Chris? Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Jay here, man. I'm back here with another video, y'all. And today, man, we got a crazy and just a very wild video to talk about. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, once again, man, we got Queso23 on the roster. Now, it seems like this man, Queso Daddy, has finally spoke out after he agreed to basically throw his son up on the bus and tell him. Now, before we get into this, y'all just hit that like button and smash that notification bell so that I can keep y'all updated on this situation and y'all can be notified anytime I drop a video. Y'all got me? I bet. Now, basically, man, what we got going on, as I just said, y'all, uh, Queso dad pretty much spoke out. Now, to give y'all a little quick rundown what's going on, man, uh, Queso pretty much got arrested back in 2020. And he was uh pretty much charged and they pretty much were trying to pin this murder no, 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 on no. him or this body on him of a rapper body that goes by the name of Lil Buck. And he went viral because for one, he was a popular rapper from Florida, but you know what I'm saying? He got arrested with his dad and his dad got arrested for accessory after the fact. But news had came out maybe like two days ago that pretty much his dad agreed to testify against him at trial and pretty much throw him up on the bus, right? He ended up moving jails and everybody was disgusted. Like 50 Cent posted it, Boosie posted it. It was just going viral all over social media and people were just like, had mixed emotions. Now, pretty much Queso Dad responded today. Now, Queso Dad is, I think if I'm not mistaken, he's like up in age and um, he pretty much responded. Now, he pretty much took to his Instagram and put up a post. There was some notes and he said, if it was me and my dad, Shaka, R.I.P., in a situation like this, I would have been free my daddy a long time ago. No matter what my consequence would have been, no justification needed. Especially if he's a good slash great daddy. <laughs> it sees that part. He could do more for me out of jail than in jail slash prison. Who leave their daddy in jail to rot? Especially when you know he innocent. I would have been stood up and said my daddy ain't got an F thing to do with nothing. You iggers and E's out in the free world talk that talk out there until it's time to walk that walk facing that life sentence hashtag free good slash great dads yeah i know and y'all never do now as y'all pretty much just seen man um he responded to you know him pretty much agreeing to telling his son that he said he putting the blame on queso pretty much saying that you know um if Queso was real, or I guess if Queso should have never had his dad in that situation from the jump, he should have had him free. Now, I don't know if that's how that worked, where you could just be like, oh, let my dad out. Um, I hate to say it, um, when you guilty by association, you can't just be like, oh, he ain't nothing to do with it, and then they let you out. But I will say this, man. Um, whether y'all want to believe it or not, to a certain degree, you know, he got a point on the, you would never want to have your dad in that situation. Because if I'm doing dirt and my dad got caught up in it, I would definitely like, do it all I can to get him out of there. But this is my thing, though. This is why a lot of people are mad at him, bro. I don't know if you know this, um, Mr. Hakeem Robinson. For one, you know, um, if y'all don't know, this guy go by the name of Blue. You know, I done did a little research. You come to find out he was a, you know, a, a, a big street dude back in the day. You know what I'm saying? He actually got arrested for some other stuff. And they tried to call him a snitch a long time ago. But end up, if, if I'm not mistaken, he told on the police officer. But I don't really know how that works. I'm not a street dude. But I want to let you know, bro. You got to understand. This is your son, right? Whether we want to believe it or not, bro, kids watch what we see. Yeah. When you're a man in the house, you're supposed to lead the house. You lead, they follow. So you've been a street dude your whole life, and um, you've been up being a gangster, whatever you want to call it. Your son was watching that. Now, I'm not saying Queso don't make his own decisions, but I will say, bro, listen. What you, like, think about it. If you've been doing that your whole life, and he's been watching you, what you think he's going to grow up to be? Now, I'm not saying it's your fault, but, bro... It come like it comes from you. Like that's his, his roots. Everything it is, it comes from you, bro. He, you was a street dude. He ended up growing up being a street dude. So happily, you got caught up in the jam. But it's not even about you know what I'm saying you leaving. It's not even about him leaving you another rock, bro. That's your son, bro. You pretty much brought him in his world and you taking him out. When you think about it, it's a sad situation because for one, you lost your older son. You know if y'all don't know that the dude Willie, that a lot of people be dissing. That's that man oldest son. You know what I'm saying? So. 
I know it's a lot going on with him, knowing that he just got out of jail not too long ago, losing a son, and then he loses two more other sons to the system. If they lose, it's just it's a tough situation, man. But I feel like just throwing him up on the bus like that, bro, that's a coward move. You feel what I'm saying? But who am I to say what? Because I'm not in his situation. Now, Boosie also had a message for Queso Dad. And pretty much he reshared that uh picture and said, You gave him life. Don't take his life. Come on, man. And then he followed it up and put up a post and said, Please don't do this, bro. Don't start this way, please. You gave him life. Don't take his life. Them people you are telling for are laughing at you over dinner. I can hear them now. We making that eagle turn on his own flesh and blood. Ha ha. Go look at your son baby pictures. Think about the good times. Think about your grandkids before you make this decision. Don't be selfish, my eagle. Make them people do their job and trust in God. Somebody get this to Queso Dad. Now, man, this is pretty much how everybody feel. They feel like, you know, it, it's a it's, it's it's tough. Now, think about it. We also got to put ourselves in his shoe. Imagine if you just happened to pick your son up and, and he committed an M, right? You ain't had nothing to do with it, and now you just in jail behind it. I know it's effed up, but if you innocent, bro, hey, man, boost had a part. You got to just trust in God, bro, because I just can't be like, oh, no, nah, my son did that. No. That's to each his own. His his son should definitely, or somebody on their team should definitely do something to where they can just get him out of there, or do some type of DNA evidence to where he. Because if you're not guilty, bro, you, if you didn't do nothing, you shouldn't have to sit in jail. But hey, man, that's it. It's that's tough, man. That's what come with the street life, and it's sad to see this go this way, man. Um, you know, rest in peace to the dude that lost his life behind this whole situation, man. But somebody gonna go down for this, man, and it sucks, bro, man, because they say when well, you in the streets, man, people show their true colors. But why y'all edit? Y'all can go follow Queso's sister. She got by the name of Kashayla. She got real details of this whole case and pretty much how they keep a Queso in jail over um, something that has nothing to do with him to a certain extent. Because if y'all don't know, the guy that um, was caught on video that was firing the shot said um, McCormick, the guy that passed away. Bro, that dude does not fit Queso's description. The dude was short and skinny. Queso is like 6'2", 200 some pounds. So... She pretty much is, is exposing JSO and how they're pretty much ignoring everything and doing whatever they can to just keep them in there when they don't have no real hardcore evidence on him, man. Y'all should go follow her and a lot of blogs should go do some interviews or whatever it takes, man, because on a serious note, she got some information over there that really could be, you know what I'm saying, talked about. But I don't want to keep y'all over here, man. Y'all let me know. Do y'all feel like his dad got a point, bro? On a serious note, do y'all feel like, you know, he should turn his son in and his son should do his own consequences or like, do y'all feel like... If that's your son, that's your seed, you know, um, you got to ride with him, man. Because this is a tough situation because I'm trying to put myself in his shoe and imagine, bro, if that was me, you feel me, dealing with that, bro. I don't know, man. I just can't throw my son up on the bus. Like, I just feel like that's stabbing him in the back. But that's just me personally, man. But y'all give me y'all thoughts and opinions. And let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. It's your boy, look, it's Jay. Thank God for another day. Man, y'all be safe. I love y'all. God love y'all more, man. <laughs> and yeah, bro, I'm out, man.